Facebook right now. We are live on YouTube. And I don't know if we're live on Instagram right now, but we're supposed to be. Press the live button. Uh, that uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe. You know how to go live on Instagram, do you? Uh, there we go. All right, so uh, what do we talk about on this radio show? Uh, like I said, we talk about eye care and nutrition. i got to give you guys a little date. you got to remember this date. It is going to be a lot of fun. Every year I throw a fall festival in the villages at the Lang Eye Institute. So every year, um, it's usually around Halloween, Thanksgiving, and uh, it's going to be October 26th this year. So it's worth the drive. People come from all over the state, even from southern uh, states like Alabama and Mississippi, and they load up on their vitamins and their paleo crunch glasses and sunglasses because we do do some huge discounts so it's october 26th at the lang eye institute in the villages from 10 to 2 10 to 2 we're going to have a car show you can bring your car i'm going to have some of my race cars there we're going to have music we're going to have free food we're going to have a lot of fun stuff going on we're going to have a frame show we're going to have a trunk show with sunglasses and all that kind of stuff um and uh, we're trying to go live on Instagram. We got 100,000 followers there, but um, I just need to put more on Instagram. All right, so we're going to figure this out right now. Here we go, Instagram, right there. Nice. Right there. We're working on it, folks. Two of us. <laughs> uh, we're getting ready to take the first call of the morning here in just a second. It's probably Bob. But before we go to that show, if you're watching me on live video right now, you'll see that I'm holding up something in my hand called. Uh, paleo, no, not paleo, something like that, not Fortify Super Protein, chocolate flavor. So the other day, all right, we're live on Instagram now, hallelujah, you got it. <laughs> so now we got a couple of hundred thousand people watching. So anyway, um, we got a special, you know, that's why it's good to watch this program on social media, listen to the radio show, you save a boatload of money. So if you're into staying in shape or you want to get in better shape, one of the best ways of doing that, believe it or not, is consuming a whey protein concentrate. I did, didn't say isolate. Isolates are good, but they're for certain purposes. But a concentrate is for meal replacement, for anti-aging, for muscle growth, endurance. So we got a special on the Fortify Super Protein chocolate flavor only. Now, folks, this is all naturally flavored. There's no sucralose. There's no carrageenan. Uh, there's no artificial dyes. There's no artificial flavor. And so people that put all that artificial garbage in it, they make it taste delicious, but it isn't good for you. Trust me. So this is called Fortify Super Protein, and you're going to get 50% off on this. It usually sells for uh, $46. This is New Zealand grass-fed. It actually comes from the majority of A2 cows. These are brown cows that are actually grass-fed all year round. No antibiotics, no pesticide on the grass from New Zealand. Uh, it is filtered, or uh, cold filtered pasteurization only 72 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. Most of the stuff you buy over the counter, the protein, has been heated to, 70, uh, to 200 degrees for 30 minutes. That denatures the molecule, and on top of that, they add acid to get rid of some of the fat and the lactose. That denatures the molecule as well, so it's not doing much good, if anything. So anyway, the code you're going to have to get 50% off this great protein is C50. C for chocolate, 50 for 50% off. So C50, write that down. It's going to be $23 for a canister of the Fortify uh, super protein chocolate flavor only. The reason we're doing the chocolate, I went into the warehouse the other day in Ocala and we got huge pallets. Somebody, not me, somebody put an order in for way too much of the chocolate protein and so we got to blow it out. So we're going to blow it out instead of sending it back because that'll cost me money. So you get 50% off C50 for the chocolate super protein. It is delicious. It's good for you. Remember, not only is it going to build muscle, it is also going to improve your immune system because of the lactoferrin, the CLA, and the covalent bonded cysteine that is actually in whey protein. So it stimulates your immune system. It stimulates glutathione, which is a master antioxidant drive in your body. I mean, so it's very good for you at any age, 10 years of age to 110, uh, especially as you get older. Now, the perfect post-recovery protein drink would be you take a scoop of this super protein chocolate flavor, 
Believe it or not, take some chocolate milk, but it's got to be A2 cow chocolate milk or goat chocolate milk, so it has an A2 beta casein, and watermelon and some creatine, five grams of creatine monohydrate. Blend it all together, drink it down. That is the ultimate post-recovery drink until Fortify Fit is available in the next month or two. All right, we're going to the phones finally. Let's see. Bob, good morning, thanks for holding. Welcome on in here, how are you? Fabulous, how are you doing? Uh, a little bit in town the last couple days, young man, I might say. Yeah, it's about flooded there. <laughs> yes, it is very flooded here. Uh, I have a quick question for you this morning, Dr. Glenn. I'd like to revisit a question that I asked you last week about abstinence, and the uh, um, the focus product. Right. Uh, from, when uh, Dr. Heck was on, she indicated that all of the testing was done at what equivalently was a double fill dosage. Uh, which focus is too much, too much? Okay, so that's an interesting question. So Fortify Focus has 10 milligrams of lutein, 2 milligrams of zeaxanthin isomers, and 6 milligrams of astaxanthin. And we're talking about the astaxanthin being the most potent uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory known to man. So all the eye studies, okay, all the eye studies, and since I'm an eye doctor, that's why I look at the eye studies, point to six milligrams of astaxanthin uh, being beneficial for eye health, improving circulation, choroidal circulation, improving accommodative ability, focusing ability. Um, so all the eye studies are with that. And only four milligrams is necessary for muscle endurance and muscle recovery for all of you athletes, okay? So that's why we did the six milligram. Now, 10 milligrams is for lactic, lactic acid buildup. So extreme athletes, pro athletes, Olympian athletes, people that are overweight, I recommend adding, you know, taking two of the fortified focus because you're gonna get 12, and the studies show that lactic acid is 10 milligrams. So it's gonna be perfect when we come out with fortified fit because that's gonna have four milligrams of astaxanthin in it, and then you take one fortified focus, you're gonna have six, so six and four is 10 to help decrease lactic acid in you know, you know, these athletes that are pretty extreme. Lactic acid causes cramping in your muscles. Now, 12 milligrams is the newer studies that are talking more about total vascular health, you know, for the heart, the cognitive ability in the brain, you know, uh, improving vascular system. So the whole key is between six, well, between four and 12 is ideal. Now they've done studies with, you know, where they actually load you up on lots of this stuff and it's very, very safe, okay? So, I mean, you could take five of these a day and that'd be 30 milligrams of zeaxanthin, I mean, vastaxanthin, wouldn't hurt you at all. Matter of fact, many of my macular degeneration patients take three a day and, you know, they're 90 years of age. And we've seen three a day and two a day dosing actually improve uh, the integrity of the retina. We've seen macular degeneration actually improve, believe it or not. On cross-sectional images of the OCT, we've seen PEDs, which is uh, pigmented epithelial detachments from Drusen. Actually, these are like a little blisters on the, on the scan that we see on your retina. We've seen them improve at two per day dosing and some at three per day dosing. So, um, like I said, four to 12 milligrams is what's been studied. You can't OD on this stuff, so you can take as many as you want. Oh, okay, very good. Well, I'm no then. Very good. No, the old adage, if two is good, four is better. <laughs> yeah, that's not always the case, though. So that's why I always recommend, you know, following the instructions your doctor gives you, certainly listening to this program, I always try to point in the right direction from a nutritional standpoint. Okay, you going to be driving next week? You know, it's been raining a lot, and the Sebring racetrack's been just about underwater. So I'm kind of glad that uh, I haven't raced the last few weeks there because they've almost been rained out every time. Uh, but I'm planning on heading up to Road Atlanta to find some sunshine soon, New Orleans and Barber Speedway in Birmingham. So that's in the very near future. I have to actually go to Cincinnati sometime in the next week or two uh, to the flavor house up there called Zoom Essence to actually get the flavor right on uh, the new Fortify Fit because we've been trying for months and months and months now to make it taste good and it's very bitter due to the substances, the branched chain amino acids, the essential amino acids, things like that that are in this product. 
very bitter and we're not using sucralose and artificial flavors. If we did, we could make it taste like a dream sickle easily. But since we're using only natural flavors, things like stevia and uh, monk fruit and stuff like that, it's very difficult to make it taste good. So I'm going to a place that's all they do is flavors. Right. Is that next weekend? Uh, no, I'll probably still be live because I'm just going to fly up in the morning and back on the afternoon or probably a Monday or Friday. So I should be live again next week. All right, Bob, have a good one. Take care. Stay dry in Ocala. We're all getting a lot of rain. You know, the summer was pretty dry. I mean, the, the grass was dying and we all hoped for rain, but man, now we're flooding out. So, you know, God, we can hold back a little bit on the rain. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute of Fortified Vitamins. Uh, broadcasting live to you, uh, we're on a variety of networks. Some of them are like 97.3 FM up in northern Florida from Gainesville, Ocala, all the way up to uh, south Georgia and over to Alabama. And then certainly 8.20 a.m. I've been on this station out of Tampa. It's a big boom station. I mean, it goes in almost the entire state of Florida. And we're a variety of other AM and FM stations right now as well. Remember, you can pick me up on Instagram. That's Dr. Michael Lang. YouTube, that's Ocula Health Channel. And certainly Facebook, uh, Dr. Michael Lang as well. Um, so we are live video streaming on a whole bunch of different arenas. Um, one more time, phone lines are open. If you got a question regarding your vision or eye care or a nutritionally related topic, give me a call. Maybe you've been contemplating having cataract surgery and you want to know what procedure is actually best. Or maybe you want to get rid of your contacts and you're thinking about LASIK surgery. Is it really what is touted? Phone lines are open. one 247 8712 That's one 247 8712 All right. Um, most of you are dehydrated, believe it or not. Most of you that are listening to my voice right now are dehydrated. And a good portion, a good portion of all of your health issues can be related to chronic dehydration, brain fog, certain neurodegenerative diseases, you know, anxiety disorders, all right? Poor skin health, dry eyes, poor joint health. All of that can be related to dehydration. So drink more water. The lion's share of my patients out there are drinking two cups of coffee in the morning and then two cocktails in the evening, whether it's red wine or beer, or whiskey sour, whatever it is. So that's four diuretics that they're consuming. Every cup of coffee and every glass of alcohol, you need to drink three cups of water to offset the diuresis effects. And those, that water needs to be good water, spring water. Well water is good if you have it checked to make sure it's not too high in heavy metals. So these are things, you got to drink more water, take more omega-3 fish oil, eat more good fish. So wild Alaskan salmon and sardines are my favorite, believe it or not. And actually rainbow trout is pretty good. You got to stay away from those big predatory fish. You know, nothing wrong with a good uh, tuna steak every now and then. Um, you know, mahi-mahi every now and then, grouper every now and then. Nothing better than a fried grouper sandwich, right? But everything in moderation. You can literally eat wild Alaskan salmon every day for your life. Um, and have it with some greens, some berries, uh, sautéed in coconut oil, and you'll live a longer, happier, healthier life. Wild Alaskan salmon is actually a power food for your retina, for your cornea, for your dry eyes for your optic nerve, because it's high in omega-3, which improves circulation, is a very good source of protein, and very good source, the best source, and the only source on the planet that humans consume for astaxanthin, which is the carotenoid that we talk about all the time that's in fortified focus. Uh, so eat more wild Alaskan salmon, and you can have it for breakfast. Put some eggs in it, have a little wild Alaskan salmon, and some goat cheese, and some kale and spinach, and you're good to go. All right, um, so if you'd like to see me for an eye exam, you can come to the Lang Eye Institute in the villages, all right? The Lang Eye Institute is right there on County Road 101 and 466 in the heart of the villages uh, where everybody retires to. It's the fastest growing population in the entire country right now, uh, faster than Los Angeles. They're building 50,000 homes right now. That's 100,000 new people coming in, and that's just the beginning. So. It's pretty amazing. It's in between Ocala and Orlando. 
Uh, you get off at the Wildwood exit if you're heading north on 75, and you go to 301, hang a left, go down about three, four miles, and hang a right, boom, you're right there in the villages. The Langai Institute is only a mile down on the left. You can't miss it. Looks like a big plantation on the Mississippi River, about 40,000 square feet, state-of-the-art eye care center. We take care of just about anything and everything, and we do it with a twist. So remember, we do a lot of nutritional intervention for our patients with all sorts of diseases, or just to slow down the aging in your body. All right, let me get this organized a little bit better. Just got some videos going here. Getting them a little closer together. Right now, if you see this, I got uh, three iPhones and an iPad <laughs> videotaping everything. You know, there's got to be an app that fuses everything into one, all the social media. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. About 100,000 of you are following me on Instagram right now. It's simply Dr. Michael Lang underscore on in Instagram. And I give lots of deals on Instagram. I also do it on Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube. I don't do as many deals, but you can watch a lot of videos that I do on YouTube. And even my car race videos too. So you might watch an I video, a conference video, and then all of a sudden a race car video. It kind of breaks up the monotony. And that's Ocular Health Channel. So you can join that Ocular Health Channel on YouTube. Follow me at Dr. Michael Lang on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. Remember, the big code that I'm running right now, 50% off the chocolate flavor Fortify Super Protein. All of you that are bodybuilding, power lifters, fitness, CrossFit, just want to stay in shape, you're getting a little older and you're not having enough protein in your diet, you want to maintain strength, think about this, it's Fortify Super Protein, chocolate flavor only, use the promo code C50 and you're going to get 50% off when you go to Fortify.com. So go to the website, Fortify.com, that's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, -E. remember an eye doctor, so it's kind of a play on words, Fortify. Dot com. Go to Fortify Super Protein Chocolate. Uh, check out, buy as many as you want. Then at the promo code at the end, put C50 in, and it's going to calculate 50% off. It's going to give it to you for $23. New Zealand grass-fed whey protein. Um, so that is the best deal going. Remember, your kids can take it. Your great-grandparents can take it. Uh, it will make you healthier. It will stimulate your immune system and help increase muscle uh, strength, reduce fat, now, if you really want to reduce fat, you put our superfood or a good greens drink and you combine it. I developed Fortify Organic Blue Green Superfood to be used in conjunction with this whey protein. You take one scoop of the chocolate protein, one scoop of the superfood, what's called Organic Blue Green Superfood, shake it up in a shaker, use that as one of your meals. It's a simple way to lose weight. The average person, if they're consuming a large uh, plate of food, three meals a day, which is the average pitiful American diet, um, will lose four pounds a week if they do this. Substitute your largest meal with one scoop of the protein, one scoop of the superfood, and if you just do the math on the average American diet, and you use this for your biggest meal, which is usually supper, the average person will lose four pounds a week. That's due to just simple math. Less calories consumed, remember 3,500 calories is a pound. And a lot of you that are eating your spaghetti and meatballs, a big loaf of French bread, and a two liter thing of Coca-Cola, and then your ice cream and cake or pie, I mean, you're getting over 3,500 calories in one meal. And you wonder why you're overweight. All right, we're going to the phones. We got a lot of people on hold. Let's see what we got going here. Joyce in Clearwater, thanks for holding. Good morning. Good morning, doctor. I have a question regarding um, a call before. Excuse me. I had a, a trab done on my left eye. It had all, even the peripheral vision along with central vision. And um, he always called it shallow. And this particular doctor now has um, retired. And my right eye was always good. And he was articulate with um, checking my pressure. I mean, he took time because they are shallow. They had to give me four injections with helium and ambient and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. whatever that is, ambient. And um, stitches, all kinds of stuff with right. the left eye. Now, the right eye, there's a new doctor, and she's only going to be there for a while, and she's leaving to another office. 
and they have a new surgeon coming in. Now, she saw me once, and then um, she had to come back in six months, and they did a field vision, and uh, the retina scan, you know, and right. all that. And bottom line is, she sees me, and she doesn't show me any results of any of it. She just says, um, oh, your pressures, and she, she does not take time at all take checking the pressures. And, um... Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Pardon? Oh, I said wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, is what it sounds like. Exactly. And uh -huh. she tells me I need a trap. And I looked at her like, what? And I said, no. And she didn't tell me anything. And so then she says, well, you know what we can do to get those pressures down? They're up high. Um, and he used to show me on the screen what was done right. in field vision, the difference, da, da, da. So she put me on Rock Lantern. Well, that's not even on the market. Expensive, really. very expensive. Brand new. Yeah. And so they gave me a sample. Right. And I'm supposed to go back this week. And, and of course, I'm not going to do that. Price is $170. And uh, if I'm lucky. And uh, no. And so I don't know whether to go back to her or not. She's, she's going to be leaving in two months. And the new doctor, the new surgeon, will be will be in and because she says she, if this doesn't work she says to get those pressures down we're going to we, we have to figure something out before we leave you in a state for this new doctor sure what can she do it and, and is that right what she's telling do you not do, does she not have to show me that yes here's what the issue is and then well, well joyce yeah let me let me chime in joyce so it sounds to me like number one um it's probably good riddance that this doctor's moving on because you're not getting the quality care that you probably deserve or that you want, okay? Education is so important. The doctor needs to educate you. And I agree. They do a scan on your optic nerve. They need to show you. Pull the scan up in the room and go over it with you because then you know the doctor actually looked at it. If they don't go over it with you, who's to say they just weren't doing the scan to build the insurance and make some big bucks? They might not even looked at it. So at least if they go over it with you in the room, and they can say, look, Miss, uh, Miss Smith, Miss Johnson, whatever, this is the nerve fiber layer. This was last time. This is this time. It is thinning. It is progressively thinning. We need to lower your pressure even more than it is. And what we're going to do, we're going to try some new topical drops, okay? If the topical therapy does not work, all right, and there's a lot of great new drops, new, new medications that can be used, then you'll look at surgical intervention, whether you're going to have a tube, whether you have a new trab, whether you have a laser procedure. I mean, people are getting away from TRABs now. Uh, they're doing more less invasive procedures than trabeculectomies, all right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of other technology. I mean, they could actually put a scaffolding in your trabecular meshwork, which is pretty cool. So they got some less invasive types of technology that glaucoma surgeons can do. You know, it, you might, it might be time for a second opinion, switch groups that has more stability that has the glaucoma specialist that's been there for a while and you know that's the specialist you're going to see on a routine basis and education is very important so remember if you're not satisfied with the care that you're getting for whatever reason you move to another practitioner we're blessed to have a lot of great glaucoma specialists in the tampa bay area certainly over in the villages we got some amazing glaucoma specialists there you can always come to the lang eye institute and see me for a second opinion you know it's just a hop skip and a jump from where we're from clearwater Okay, I thought so. I'm going to cancel it because she's she's just bound. We've got to get this taken care of before this new uh, specialist comes. Yeah. She's staying with the company. She's just going to another office in Tampa there, and I, and I don't go to Tampa. I can't. Right. So, um, so you yeah. know, there's an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I think if you can get away with right. medical treatment, topical drops, and you're not having allergic reactions to it, they're not causing your eyes to have serious significant redness or swelling, not causing systemic health problems, and you don't have arthritis where you can put the drops in your eyes, why have surgery? I like surgery for glaucoma for later down the road. When you get worse and it can't be controlled topically, or if somebody's on a fixed income and they cannot afford the glaucoma drops, but most good glaucoma drops are now generic. Now, the one you mentioned, Roclitan, and there's one called Visolta. I mean, I wrote a prescription for a patient the other day with that stuff because I gave him a sample and it worked quite nicely. It was $750 for a three-month supply. So I changed him to Latanoprost. 
Latana Pros work just as good, all right? I don't love Latana Pros as much because 400 different companies manufacture it, so you never know 100% what you're getting since it's generic, but it does work, all right? And it can make some people's eyes a little bit red. So some of these new generation medications, uh, you always got to find out how much it's going to cost. It's ridiculous to pay $600 for a glaucoma drop when there's a lot of good drops out there that are generic that may cost you $7, okay? Oh, I know. I'm on Lumigan now and the generic. Yeah, Lumigan's great. Lumigan's one of the best anti-glaucoma medications on the market. And it's exactly. That's why she wants to put me on this other one. And it's only $170 because it's a special if you go to, like, a Walmart or something, get a coupon or whatever. Right. So, but your Lumigan's probably only 35 And so, um, <laughs> but it's new, and it's, 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 that's the cheapest, though. And that's, next month it might be the $700, correct, if you don't have insurance. Right. And the studies, the studies don't indicate it controls the pressure hardly any better than Lumigan anyway. So, once again, if pressure's not under adequate control under Lumigan or you're having side effects from Lumigan, then it's good for the doctors to try other medications. So, it's up to the doctor to determine what's best for you. But also, you know, everybody's not, you know, everybody doesn't have an endless uh, money pit in their backyard. So, you have to be aware of cost of things as well. And isn't it true, though, that really taking your time and, and putting that instrument right up to your eye, like the previous doctor did, I mean, he took time. Right. And put and, that right up there, and the pressures were always lower than the text did previously. Right. You don't want to be rushed through it. That's exactly right. And, you know, the doctor can double-check that pressure, especially if you ask, you know, uh, because sometimes the technician might have just been trained and might not be as accurate as the doctor. So there's nothing wrong with the doctor double checking that pressure. Also, some things you can do alternatively to slow down this process and help lower the pressure naturally is a good omega-3 fish oil. We talked about this last week. The one I developed is called Fortify Super Omega-3 Max. Not the Super Omega, but the Super Omega-3 Max at two per day dosing can lower your pressure a little bit, improving circulation to the optic nerve. Also cardiovascular exercise, as long as you don't have any heart problems. You know, 20 minutes getting your heart rate over 100 can lower the pressure as much as 30% in your eye. So try the omega-3, a little more cardiovascular exercise. Maybe your pressure will come down, and maybe that will make the doctor happy. I will do that. You have a blessed day. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. We're going to the next call in just a second. You're listening to Ask the Doctor. I'm your host, Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute Fortify Vitamins and Paleo Simplified. Uh, you got to check out our Praline Crunch. I developed it about a year ago. My New Orleans background can, comes through on this formula. Uh, it actually tastes like pralines, only three grams of sugar and three carbs. So low carb diet, um, paleo diet, and keto diet can eat it. If you want a healthy snack to eat in between meals to keep your metabolism going, or you want to eat something while you're watching TV instead of a bag of potato chips, it's called Paleo Simplified Praline Crunch. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Fortify.com, PaleoSimplified.com, Lang Eye Institute, Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala. A lot of places you can get it. All right, we're going back to the phones. My friend Stephen Bradenton, good morning. Good morning, Doc. How you doing? Fabulous. How are you? I'm pretty good, I guess, for a one-eyed fat man. <laughs> now, I know you're not fat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it used to be. Um, I was going to ask you, what, what is the optimum number on the micron measurement uh, when they do the OCT scan? Wow, that's different for everybody, okay? It's kind of like corneal thickness and retinal thickness. It all is different on each individual. So you have to look and see. The main thing is if you get a baseline, I mean, say your baseline was 350 microns, 450 microns. Baseline for everybody is a little bit different. And then you monitor it for atrophic changes, that's atrophy, or edematous changes, that's swelling. And so I would not go by what a normal, a normal uh, micron thickness is in the retina by the same token in the cornea, or even for pressure in the eye for that matter. You know, intraocular pressure, you know, everybody says, what's a normal intraocular pressure? Well, a 25 can be normal for some, by the same token, a 12 could be abnormal for others. So those are just numbers. Those are guides to help the pay, help the doctor develop baseline and see if there's progression or digression. If you've got a real thick uh, 
cornea, don't they have to reduce the, when they use the blue light for the pressure, don't they have to reduce that number by five? You've been in this business too long. You've been getting too many eye exams to know that. <laughs> That, that's exactly right. A thick cornea is actually a good cornea. So if you have a thick cornea, when they check the pressure with applination tonometry, indentation tonometry, a puff tonometry with the puff of air, the cornea is very thick, it's very resilient, so it actually reads higher than the pressure really is. And there's studies that indicate if you have a thick cornea, it reduces the chance of glaucoma. And so that's why it's very important to know the measurement, the thickness of cornea in glaucoma patients. By the same token, Steve, if you have a very thin cornea that we develop, we measure on pachymetry, then remember that cornea is going to be spongy. So when you applinate, applinate the cornea with Goldman applination tonometry, that cornea is go, going to go indentation. It's going to indent, and it's going to read a lot lower than it really is. And that can be very misleading to the physician because they think your pressure is under control, and they may not treat it where they need to treat it. A thin cornea, you have to be aggressive at treating versus a thick cornea. Um, so that's interesting that you were you know that most most patients would not know that. Yeah, I've got a very thick cornea. They told me, and I got a real long eye, which I guess uh, mm -hmm. behooves the uh, retinal detachment more than if you don't. Right, if you have a long axial length, that's like you said, a long eye, that puts more tension and stress on the peripheral retina, increasing your risk of a retinal tear or retinal detachment. And that's why it's so important and why I educate my patients on this show and on many other shows that I host and through the, through the practice network. If you ever get a sudden onset of flashing lights or floaters in your vision, get into your optometrist or ophthalmologist that day. If it's on the weekend, you ain't gonna see me, but if it's on the weekend, you can get to one of the commercial chains that has a good optometric physician, have your eyes dilated, or call your doctor. I'm on call 24-7, so uh, most doctors have, you got to be on call, so you can call their office. It'll give you an emergency after, after hours number. But remember, flashing lights and thousands of floaters, or just a new onset of floaters or flashing lights, get to the eye doctor immediately. Do not go to the emergency room. Go to a local optometrist, optometric physician, or ophthalmologist. Once you have a, uh, the retina reattached uh, on surgery, is what's the chances of having it happen, happen again? Well, it all depends on what caused it. If it was from trauma, don't have trauma anymore, right? If you had a car accident and detached, don't do that again. If it's from diabetic retinopathy and you have neovascularization causing uh, traction on your retina, then you have to, like as in your case, you have to control your diabetes, and you do that through proper diet, weight loss, exercise, following the advice of your endocrinologist or your primary care physician with your medication, controlling your blood sugar so your hemoglobin A1C is normal, blood sugar is normal. Um, but you kind of have a double whammy, Steve. You, well, triple whammy. If I recall, you're over 60, all right? You're a diabetic, and you have very long axial lengths, so you have a, in, elongated your eye. So that's kind of a triple whammy, and I recommend you not participating in kickboxing or any uh, martial arts, wrestling, anything like that, uh, because you could be in big trouble. As you know, one, one eye doesn't have great vision. The other eye has, I think, last week we talked about 2050 vision, 2040 vision, which is a godsend to have that vision. And you have to keep that vision, and you're doing the things. I mean, number one, you're listening to this show, and you've learned a lot, hopefully, on this show over the years. Uh, at, about diet and proper supplementation, wearing blue filtering sunglasses, you know, following your advice of your ophthalmologist and your optometrist. So uh, I, I think you've done pretty well, and, and hopefully you've stabilized. You know, you want to have better vision, but like we talked about last week or the week before, you got to be thankful for what you have. Yeah, you said I have stabilized pretty nicely, and there's no leakers or anything when he did the exam. Good. That's good. Now, when he checks my pressures, they use a, a pencil-like looking device. I don't know what you call it instead of the blue light. Right, Toto Pen. How accurate is that? Eh, it's only as accurate as who's ever checking the pressure. Those can oh. actually be pretty inaccurate. But if the same technician's been doing it and they're trained adequately, it's going to be relatively accurate, all right? If they worked at Burger King, you know, five days earlier, it ain't going to be accurate. So... Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tool to help retina specialists. It's good because a lot of people uh, in the retina uh, arena are out of shape, obese, wheelchair bound, 
And they, it's hard for them to get up into the slit lamp and do Goldman applination tonometry. So this is a way to check the pressure. We use this on patients that are confined to wheelchairs and things. It's not as accurate as the blue light special, but it still can get accurate results. I went to the Baskin Palmer Eye Institute, and they used that pencil-like device, which kind of surprised me. I thought they would used the blue light, you know? Yep, it all depends on, on the setting, you know. And like I said, the tono pen can be accurate depending on the user. That's the one that has some user error that can be involved in it, where the Goldman tonometry and uh, puff tonometry is pretty much foolproof. I mean, anybody can do it, and the computer reads it. Even Goldman application tonometry can have read a error. They can do it properly, but the girl or the guy reading it might not read it correctly. You know, it might be 28, right. and they said it was 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially if they worked at Burger King five days ago. <laughs> right. Nothing against Burger King. They make a pretty mean Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> now they have a fake Whopper that tastes just like meat, I guess. I saw that on a commercial, and you know, I got to tell you, I, I'm not a fast food junkie at all, but, you know, when I see 60, 70 patients in a day, that's a long day. Sometimes I get an eight-minute lunch if I'm lucky. On the days I only get a one-minute lunch, I actually drink the Fortify Super Protein, and my, my girls shake it up and give it to me in between patients. But on the days I can get an eight-minute lunch, sometimes, I mean, Burger King's right next to the Lang Eye Institute. Uh, it's either that or have low blood sugar and pass out. You know, they got a new uh, taco at Burger King, and it actually tastes pretty good. I'm not promoting fast food because it's not the best thing in the world for you, but let me tell you, something's better than nothing at times, okay? Yeah, well, you have no choice if you're that busy, you know. Right. Steve, thanks for the call, brother. Okay, thank you. One more thing. Is it come along a pretty good eye drop to reduce pressure? Eh, eh. I don't love Timolol because it's a beta blocker, all right? So Timolol, if you're using it as a second and third line of defense, and remember, this is my opinion, uh, my show. <laughs> so if you're using it because the pressure isn't adequately controlled with you know, a prostaglandin analog or an alpha agonist, or if there's contraindications to using Lumigan, Latanoprost because of inflammation in your retina, then Timolol is a good option. It does lower the pressure, it's very inexpensive, and it's safe for the lion's share of patients. But if you have congestive heart failure, if you have any breathing difficulty, COPD, asthma, chronic allergies, um, then you don't want to be on Timolol because it's a beta blocker, okay? Okay. All right, Steve. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, we got a lot of callers. A lot of good callers been listening for a long time. Remember, I've been hosting this show since April of 1993. You know, when I started my first practice, it was Lang Eye Care and Associates, March 15th, 1993, my first office in Ocala. I had one employee, small office. You know, we grew to 13 locations. I opened 13 locations. Uh, we had 20 some odd uh, optometrists and ophthalmologists on staff. And I was lucky enough to have a billion dollar corporation three years ago uh, buy all of my locations except the Lang Eye Institute. So I kept the Lang Eye Institute because I enjoy what I do. I really enjoy seeing you patients and figuring out what we can do to help your, you know, your vision, to save your vision, to improve your vision. And naturally, if possible, remember, I am big into the natural aspects of eye care. I'm a certified nutritional specialist as well, but we do traditional medical therapy as well. So it's complementary medicine. You cannot go see a total holistic eye care provider and if you have glaucoma and macular degeneration. You will go blind. I repeat, you will go blind. Do not go to, if you have wet macular degeneration, do not go to a total alternative eye care provider and have acupuncture done. You're going to go blind. You're going to need an Avastin injection, a Lucentis injection, an Ilea injection, combined with things like Fortify uh, Macula Defense, Zinc-Free Macula Defense, or Fortify Focus, or Fortify AREDS 2 Plus formula. So the combination of proper diet, proper vitamins, remember the vitamins you buy over the counter for macula degeneration, I do not love. Uh, so proper diet, exercise, weight management, hydration, blocking the blue light with blue light defense lenses, blue light shield lenses, uh, and seeing your retina specialist and or your primary eye care doctor, your optometrist, routinely is very important. 
So if you have just no no eye problems, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years of age, no eye problems, absolutely. A holistic, you know, homeopathic alternative eye doctor is fine. But once you're labeled with some sort of disease as glaucoma or macular degeneration, you need to seek the advice of a retina specialist or somebody treating this traditionally, all right? I have patients of mine, for some reason, more around the Gainesville area, Alachua and Archer, that are really into the natural aspects of, of health. And I've got a group of patients that will not have surgery, will not use medication. They've been kicked out of every eye doctor's office. They've been seeing me now for 25, 30 years, and we do everything we can naturally. I have them sign a release. I mean, some of them are literally going blind. I tell them, look, you need surgery. You need glaucoma medication. They won't do it. Now, they will smoke pot. They will smoke marijuana. <laughs> and so now, thank goodness, we do have some medical practitioners that are, are axing this. I do not recommend it for glaucoma at all, but if it's the only thing you're going to do, uh, the problem is you're going to be high all day long to keep the pressure down, and you might have other problems from the inhalation of the smoke, okay? Now, it's not the same as nicotine smoke, but smoke is smoke, and it will increase your risk of lung cancer, all right? So all of you smoking pot that think that it will not increase the risk of lung cancer, it will. If you go burn something in the yard, it's going to increase your risk of lung cancer just from the smoke. All right, we're going to take some more phone calls. Had some people on hold. I got on a tangent here. I'm sorry. I will take your calls if you call me back. one 247 8712 That's one 247 8712 Also, get a pen and paper. I'm going to give you the phone number for the Lang Nutrition Center, Fortify Vitamins, and the Lang Eye Institute. So, Fortify Vitamins phone number is 866-503- 9746. Write that down. 866 503 9746. Fortify Vitamin Headquarters is based in Ocala. Uh, we've got a large two story building I own right on State Road 200, right across from the mall. It's the old Lang Eye Care building. Upstairs, you go up the elevator, that's the Lang Nutrition Center. We have all the Fortify Vitamins. Uh, we can even give you taste samples of things to try if you'd like. Come on in there Monday through Friday. We'll take good care of you. If you want this big discount, 50% off the chocolate protein right now. You can get it by going into the Lang Eye Institute or going into the uh, Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala. Um, the Lang Eye Institute is right there in the villages. We're located on uh, County Road 101 and 466, right next door to CVS across the street from Publix. The phone number for the Lang Eye Institute, get your pen and paper, I'm going to give it to you twice, 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. Um, and we're open Monday through Friday there as well. Uh, one more time, I'm gonna, before we take the next call, I want to tell you about this protein uh, deal again. Remember, this is called an inventory reduction sale. You see that in furniture places all the time. Well, we're doing it through four to five items. I have way too much of this, um, way too much of it. And you know, we've been expanding quite a bit, Fortify Vitamins has, and I gotta, I gotta plant this seed right now. So our headquarters is based in Ocala, but we are gonna be opening a center here, more of a distribution center near the Safety Harbor Clearwater area very soon. I'll keep you all posted on that. So Fortify Super Protein Chocolate Flavor, use the code C50, C50, um, C for chocolate, 50 for 50% 50 off. You're going to get 50% off on the website, fortify.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E, fortify.com. And put C50 in at checkout, you'll get 50% off. Once again, why do you need this? Most of you are not getting the right amount of protein. Certainly, if you're working out, you're buying this stuff from the, uh, the super stores. It's all coming from China, all right? And it's a big jug, you know, for $25. Remember, you get what you paid for. Chances are it's got growth hormone for cows in there, it's got pesticide, it's got antibiotics in it, and you're consuming that. This is a New Zealand grass-fed whey protein. When you get protein, there's three places that are the ultimate for protein. America, France, and New Zealand. Australia's okay and South Africa's okay. If it doesn't say where it comes on the bottle, it's coming from China. Remember, if it doesn't say on the protein where it's coming from, it's coming from China. Not to knock China, but you don't want to put Chinese protein in your body. They don't care about you. 
and it's adulterated, polluted protein. So those big jugs of stuff with the big bodybuilder on the front, chances are it's coming from China. Be very careful. All right? You want to live a long, healthy life, cancer-free. So the good thing about the New Zealand grass-fed whey protein, super protein, chocolate flavor, it is uh, cold-filtered. It is grass-fed all year round. It's high in immuglob immuglobulins that stimulate your immune system, stimulate glutathione. So not only is it going to make you look better because you're going to have bigger muscles, you're going to have less fat, and you're going to be stronger, you're going to feel better, but it's going to reduce the chance of you getting things like cancer and immune-compromised disease, even the flu. So I usually recommend two whey protein shakes a day, a smoothie. Um, you know, one is a meal replacement, one right after working out. Some people can do one before working out, one after working out. A lot of you that are having no protein for breakfast, which is the lion's share of my patients, a cup of coffee and a bagel, a cup of coffee and a piece of toast, a cup of coffee and oatmeal, God forbid, um, a cup of coffee and cereal. You know, make a smoothie. Take a, a, a scoop of this chocolate protein, put some almond milk or goat milk or A2 cow's milk, put a banana and a pineapple and some kale, blend it all together, and you're good to go. That's a great breakfast. All right, we're going to take some phone calls. Let's see. Steve in Clearwater. Yeah, I have a practical question today, which is extremely rare for me. What what could it be if you 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 just have a sensation that you 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 your eye is it's not swollen but you just have a feeling that it's there and it's it it, it just feels like it's kind of swollen but it, it's not to look at it but it just feels that way it just you have a sense that it's sort of like a balloon blown up a little bit not much right. Just, so most of these sensations, believe it or not, not all of them, most of them are related to something called superficial keratitis, all right? Superficial punctate keratitis, or another big word, which you're going to love, keratoconjunctivitis, all right? Dry eye syndrome in layman's terms. So when your eyes get dry, they can feel swollen, uh, they can have pain, they can have sharp needle-like pains, they can feel sandy, gritty, burn, tear, itch. You can have blurred vision. You can have fluctuation in vision. Vision at the end of the day or while you're working on a computer can be blurry. So when that happens, blink your eyes a lot. Blink, 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 blink. That spreads the tears over your cornea, helps reduce dry eye. Put some lubricating eye drops in, uh, like Oasis tears or blink tears or fresh coat, and, and see if the problem goes away. If you blink a lot, put the artificial tears and your problem goes away. It's just a dry eye related issue. Other things can cause that, all right? If the pressure's going up in your eye, you would have a, a similar sensation, but it'd have to go up very, very high. And chances of that occurring is pretty slim. You could have uh, inflammation in the eye like a uveitis or an iritis or an episcleritis or a conjunctivitis, but then your eyes are usually going to be red, okay? So if they're not red and inflamed and you have those symptoms, chances are it's just plain old dry eye that you're going to have more and more as you mature. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm I think I might break down and, and come up and see you. I don't know. We'll see. I would like to beat you, Steve. You've been a caller on this show for a long time. <laughs> let, me, let me confess something. I'm one of those people that, let me put it this way, I don't like to be manhandled. You know, I don't like people poking me and prodding me and looking in my eyes and looking in my ears. I, I just have a thing about that. Right. So it's not, it's intellectually, I know I ought to get my butt in there, but emotionally, I just don't want to do it. And I think, I'm not saying that just for myself. I know there's a lot of men, especially, that are that way. Sure. But anyway, maybe I'll come up and see you this in the fall. I'm pretty gentle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Steve. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Now, that's another Steve. We got three or four Steves that call. Uh, the other Steve hadn't called lately, so we got Sarasota Steve, we got Clearwater Steve, who's the genius, and the other Steve, uh, who's kind of the natural Steve. Yeah, I call him natural Steve. That's a good name. He's in shape, and he's natural. He's always eating the good stuff. He hadn't called lately, so Steve, hope you're okay. All right, let's go back to the phones. John in Gainesville, thanks for holding. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, I got a two-part question. I know, I know you recommended it in the past, but what um, recommend um, to supplement somebody on hypertension who's taking beta blockers and calcium channel blockers, and what um, is your opinion on vitamin K2? 
Okay, so vitamin K2 is very, very good. It's very good for you. The problem is most vitamin K2 is so expensive these days. So K2 is great if you want to decrease the chance, especially of osteopenia and osteoporosis. More in women, believe it or not, than men. Um, K2 can convert, if you eat spinach or kale even better, and gently saute it and, and, and uh, steam it or boil it to break down the cell wall, you're going to have K1 is going to convert to K2 in the gut, all right? So that's why I always recommend eating more spinach and kale. And ever since I had my kidney stone, I recommend eating more kale instead of spinach because much less oxalates than spinach. But yeah, I like K2, okay? So if you can get it in a supplement and um, still get some sunshine, eat some sardines with the bones, all right? It's going to help decrease, uh, you know, the bone wasting away. Uh, and K2 has some other valuable benefits as well. Now, what was the other part of the question? What would you do nutritionally oh. to supplement somebody on a tenor all in a bloated piece? Right, so uh, for hypertensive. So, you know, you got to, this is a tough question. You know, you need to be following a doctor that's either A, going to work with you holistically and naturally, and a complementary doctor that maybe can taper off some of those medications that have potential side effects. So some things you can do, obviously, are number one, you gotta get in the best shape of your life. So no matter, no matter what your age is, you can be 70 and you get in the best shape of your life, you gotta get down to your ideal fighting weight. So you know, if you're six foot, maybe 180 pounds where you should be, not 280 pounds. So I'm not saying you're overweight. So that's number one. Getting weight, everybody's weight under control is the most important thing. And you can do that through proper diet, lowering your saturated fat intake, eating more fresh vegetables, more clean protein like fish, chicken, and turkey. Grass-fed bison is actually pretty good. And then blowing off all the man-made carbohydrates, the pastas and the rices and the breads, blowing that stuff off and eating fruit in moderation. The fish is the big kicker here. People that eat a lot of fish, the good fish, have less hypertensive changes. And that's where omega-3 comes in. Uh, there's some new studies out there that are talking about taking a thousand milligrams of omega-3 or above, but the triglyceride form, that's why I developed Fortify Super Omega-3 Max. Two per day dosing gives you 1,200 milligrams of EPA. That does help your blood pressure, all right? Beet juice can help your blood pressure, all right? But remember, beets are high in oxalates as well, kind of like spinach. So if you've had kidney stones before, you don't want to do a lot of beet juice. If you haven't had kidney stones, you can consume beets. Just drink a lot more water. Add some lemon to your water, um, concentrated lemon, if you're doing beet juice. So beet juice, omega-3, proper diet, weight loss, cardiovascular exercise, all of these things will definitely help. And believe it or not, getting a good night's sleep. Because if you don't sleep, uh, cortisol levels go up, inflammation in your body goes up, and hypertensive goes up as well. So good night's sleep. So all of this is anti-aging. But you can't just willy-nilly stop your hypertensive medications and do this because then your blood pressure could shoot up. You can use this while you're on your hypertensive medications, monitor your blood pressure. I would recommend you have your own blood pressure cuff, monitor your blood pressure during the day. If you find your blood pressure is dropping considerably, then talk to your doctor about taking you off one of the blood pressure medications or cutting it back, okay? The least amount of medication that gets the job done. Also, sodium intake. You gotta blow the salt off unless you're an extreme athlete. If you're out sweating a lot, you got to have sodium chloride. You got to have salt, potassium, and magnesium. But if you're not, if you're just indoors on the computer all day long, don't put salt on your foods. If you're going to use salt, use pink Himalayan sea salt. And what about taking some type of supplement with potassium and magnesium? Well, I don't recommend potassium supplements. I mean, too much potassium can cause serious health problems unless it's recommended by your doctor. Magnesium's totally safe, okay? You can take 500,000 milligrams of magnesium, but I wouldn't take a, a potassium supplement unless your doctor recommended it. I would eat, you know, eat some avocado, eat a banana a day. And if you're on a diuretic, your doctor should be having you on a potassium supplement or eating a banana and avocado every day. But I wouldn't just take a potassium supplement unless it's recommended by your doctor. You can Google, uh, you know, too much potassium can be very, very dangerous, okay? Okay. Sounds great. I appreciate the advice. All right. Take care. You too. All right. Remember, anything I talk about in this program is for educational purposes only. It never replaces a medical evaluation. 
an eye evaluation for educational purposes only. So if my attorneys are listening, they're very happy. The music's on. That means we got to roll. Remember, October 26th in the villages is the big fall festival I throw every year. Remember, C50 is the code for the chocolate protein on Fortify.com. You'll get 50% off. C50 promo code, Fortify Super Protein, only the chocolate version, 50% off. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out of here. Have a great day, and God bless you. A-20-W-W-B-A. Tampa Bay. All right, we're done. Hopefully everybody enjoyed that. I see I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Google. A lot of you are watching. How about taking a scoop of chocolate protein in your coffee? Absolutely. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Garen. Hey, Judy. I feel like the lady on Romper Room looking into the mirror. Good show. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully you got something out of this. Remember, take advantage of this deal. We're only running it for a week. Um, and if you're going to watch this tape later, remember this is like uh, August 17th, 2019. We're going to run it to the end of this month. Use promo code, uh, what did I say, C50. You're going to get 50% off. This chocolate is delicious and it's good for you. All right, I'm going to turn all y'all off and I'm going to go hang out with my brother and my mom and my wife and my daughter. See ya. No, I'll figure this one out in a minute. Wave, wave, wave. All right. That is Google Plus. Oh, no. That's Instagram. I can't save that one. See ya, Facebook. Now we're going to share this. YouTube. I'm gonna turn this one off now. 56 minutes. See ya. I don't know how to turn it off. Hmm. I'm stop streaming.